Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bina here and it's been so long since I've actually sat down and filmed um, But basically I just did kind of like a very natural very everyday kind of glam look glam look but i wear this makeup out all the time whether i'm going to well not when i'm going to work i tone it down a lot when i'm going to work actually but if i'm just like hanging out with my friends um whether it's nighttime daytime this is normally the look that i go for um so yeah if you guys want to see how i got this look please keep on watching well i'm gonna be going in with foundation first this is gonna be the born this way um, going this way, Too Faced in Natural Beige. And I have the little sample from Sephora, but I also have my full bottle there. I just want to use this up before I actually open it, you know? And normally whenever I have like these little Sephora pots or like, you know, testers or something, I always use the back of my fingernail just because I feel like it's more sanitary and I'm not like scooping it up I don't know maybe it's not maybe it's just like my perception of it things but I I just feel like it, it's cleaner we're gonna go in with the modern renaissance palette because this palette is everything and it's life and I only use two colors from it I'm gonna tap off the X's because this palette is hella pigmented we are just gonna buff that right into our crease Okay, going in next with burnt orange, we're gonna like kind of just like place it in the same where we same place we put raw sienna, but just like we're not gonna put as much. We're just gonna like literally just like with the same brush because I feel like sometimes the same brush just blends it out so like really easily. Next, I am just gonna use a slight pinch of Real Gar, this one right here. It's kind of like this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orange color. And I just like love the way that it looks on in the like, just like diffused up in the crease. And I'm just using a Real Techniques brush. Real Techniques, hold on base shadow brush but I use it as like a little mini crease brush all over my lid I like taking um cypress umber umber yeah cypress umber from this palette which is like the darkest brown that they have and just kind of like smudging my lash line and underneath my lash line as well but we're gonna do the underneath part after we put on concealer so for my brows i'm just gonna go in with color pop black and brown hey guys okay so i'm kind of back kind of um my camera just kind of like stopped recording so I don't know what happened. For concealer, I'm just gonna go back in with wild medium and we're just gonna put that underneath my eyes, okay? I'm using a Real Techniques, I'm pretty sure this is like the contour brush, but I use it for my freaking under eyes because it's so soft and I feel like it does the job. We're just gonna set the fate set for the um applied concealer with the Rimmel Stain Matte in the color Sandstorm. I don't bake. I just don't like to. I think it dries out your face. Well, I guess I ended up setting my entire face. Oh well, life happens. 
school. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hit Contour Kit. This is the powder one. We're just going to take um, Havana and I believe this is Fawn or Java. Hold on. I'm Java. I just want this one. This one's Havana for sure because it's more orangey. This one I use all the time. But hey, whatever. And we're just, this is the L Wet n Wild Contour Brush. And I like to start off like kind of like chiseling out my thing and then I blend it out. So we'll start with the chisel, 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 chisel. I'll do my nose later. So yeah, I feel like once I have the product placement, I just really like to... If you've been watching, like, if you are an OG, <laughs> then you know how I contour my face. This is literally just me applying more product on my cheeks until I'm like, mm, my arms are tired. That's it. That's how I contour. Okay, guys, this is the final look. I just hopped off camera and put on um, some lashes right on the outer corner. These are the Caro lashes. Um, they were only one dollar and I only took one of them cut them in half and then just put them on the outer corner I think it looks fine. It's pretty natural um, And yeah, this is a completed look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like comment share and subscribe please uh, But yeah, that's it. Thanks